Let's use this one. Huh? Okay, y'all can go now. Nope. Hi, everybody. It's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, change the, I'm going to upgrade the memory, the RAM, the memory RAM, whatever, whichever one you, you call it, memory, RAM, whatever. I'm going to update the RAM in my kid's computer. And it is a HP Pavilion 23 desktop computer. It's not a tower. It's this kind that the computer is built into the monitor. So, what I'm going to do is um, install um, right now it has 8 right now it has uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, what I'm going to do is upgrade it to 8 gigabytes. What I did is, um, well, and the reason why I'm going to upgrade it is because Heavenly, she does videos, she edits, and she says that uh, the computer is not processing the information fast enough for her to do edits and work with this program that she's using. So, one of her Christmas gifts is to upgrade the computer so it, it'll work better for her. And I took it to Fry's, and when I took it to Fry's, they said it was going to be $80 for them to install the RAM. So I decided that, I, and, and also they said that it, it could, it's going to take them two days or more, possibly, to get to it. So I decided that that's a lot of money, and um, two days or more is a long time. So I figured that I could do it myself, so... I'm going to do it, and I'm going to show y'all how to do it, how easy it is, okay? So, and I also, the RAM that I needed, the upgrade, they didn't uh, carry it any longer at Fry's. It is um, a DD, DDR3L 1600. That's what I needed, and it has to say 3L, I guess. And so they didn't carry it anymore at uh, fries, so I had to order it on Amazon, and um, I ordered it, and I got this bag today, and actually, uh, this is my second order, my first one was wrong, it was the wrong size, so hopefully this is going to work, and it came in one day because I have Amazon Prime, so let's go ahead and install this so Heaven and them can get back on their computer, and let's see how it goes okay okay this is the front of the computer and I'm gonna turn it over to the back ah. okay and this is the back and on the computer there's two spots where there's screws there's one down at the bottom corner and over here, there's one more. When I look up here, around the computer, I don't see any more screws. So I'm just going to take those two screws out. Um, this is the trusty tool that I'm going to use. Actually, this is a Philip screw but couldn't find my Phillips screwdriver but this is a straight head screwdriver it'll work so I'm going to use this Yeah. 
Let's go untighten that. Okay, and now that it's loose, it's going to lift the back off. Let's get the back off. And that is the back. And after I lift it off, this is what I see on the inside. Okay, so the memory is in here how do i know that because the guy fries told me that it's probably in some cases there's a a metal plate that you'll have to take off the memory will be under it and i believe since i can't see the memory i believe this is the metal plate and then it's got this little thing right here this picture it kind of looks like a memory so Maybe that's the memory. So, it's my screwdriver. And there's my screw. I got one screw here, and then one screw there. And then it's kind of tucked in right there. So, let's see. out it's not hard to pull out it's just that I'm using one hand uh. Okay, now that I got that out, there's my memory stick right here. And it's held in. Where, where am I at? Okay, there it is. It's held in by these little things on the side, so I'm just going to move those out a little bit. There you go. And it, it popped out. I'm just gonna pull it up. And okay, and so and this is the memory that I'm gonna exchange it with. And today they're the same size, so yay. I'm just going to slide it in here, back the way I took it out. Let me 
make sure it's pushed in good a second well I think that's secure only thing I can do is um, put it back together and see what happens And uh, so, yeah, that's it. And I'm just going to put this plate back on. Right here, these two. Uh, My bad. Okay, here you go. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna put these together. This back in there. I'm just going to close this back up and screws back in here. And now it's time to put the back back on. Okay, and so that is it, and that is how you install the RAM. So I'm going to take it back in here to the girls and let them plug it up and see how it works. And I'm going to let you know one second. So the computer is up and running, so... The install was great. It was correct. So, yes, like I said, everything worked out great. It installed the computer, the operating system, and everything loaded up. So, we're good. And so, I hope that helped. If you decide that you want to go ahead and change your own memory, I say go for it. It's not that hard. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And if you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to me. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Deuces, YouTube.